Can I get a venti pumpkin spice latte? I want a venti pumpkin chai tea. I want a pumpkin cake ball. Let's get a slice of the pumpkin loaf. And I'm gonna get the uh, breakfast sandwich, but substitute the bread for pumpkin bread. Today on Eating Things, we're talking about is pumpkin spice getting excessive. It's fall, y'all! It's fall, y'all! <laughs> and with that, it's time for the pumpkin spice season, <laughs> or the pumpkin spice seasoning, man. Uh, this is the time of the year where all of the grocery stores, the restaurantes, coffee shops, everybody goes ham for some pumpkin spice. But today we're going to decide when does it start getting a little excessive. Probably never. I don't know. To me, it can get pretty excessive. But I'm not real big on pumpkin spice. I'm so. a pumpkin spice slut. Uh, <laughs> I will pumpkin spice it up until the season is over. So today on today's items, we are going to be deciding is the spice nice or did it fall behind? Uh. All right, let's get on to our first item. We're going to start kind of mild with... Pumpkin spice, Oreo, Oreo, Oreo. Look at the stuffing to cookie ratio. That's nice. That's a pretty yeah. thick. It looks like a double stuffing. That's pretty thick stuffing. Mmm, those are really good. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, they just taste sweet and sugary to me. It tastes like pumpkin pie to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had to do the whole cookie to get. You have to breathe in. You gotta. How'd you do it, Matt? Do that. I like this because it's not super heavy. Um, so I'm going to say the spice it's is nice. nice. It's very nice. The spice is very nice. So pumpkin spice Oreos, the spice is nice. The spice, spice is, is nice. nice. What y'all know about some Twinkies, boy? Boys. We got pumpkin spice Twinkies. The These cream filling needs to be warm. Is the cake pumpkin or is the cream pumpkin? I guess we'll figure it out. The cake doesn't look like it's pumpkin spice. It doesn't. It it's like a little color. orange in some spots maybe, but... How does it smell? It smells like, like pumpkin. Yeah. Oh yeah, you get the smell for sure. That's mm. pretty good. Mm. Okay, the cream is a little orange. The cream's not just white. Yeah. It is very pumpkin-y. Ooh. I like that a lot. I'm good. Oh, it gets it's more good. as you chew it. Yeah, no, that's good. I would venture to say I love this a thousand times better than a regular Twinkie. Oh, certainly. I think it serves a different purpose, but I do really like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, no, it's good. It's really The cream good. feels a little different than regular Twinkie cream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's also surprisingly light for something that's pumpkin spice flavored. Yeah. Because I think I generally think of pumpkin spice stuff and think of like heavy. Mm -hmm. Pretty strong. Yeah. No, no, we're still in dessert territory here, so I think pumpkin spice is still working really well. Yeah. Um, this is a. I actually like it better than the Oreos. Oh yeah, I like them better than. I think I could say, especially for like the amount of spice you get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's tough for me. I like them both so much. Mm -hmm. I love pumpkin spice. But the spice is nice, y'all. The spice, oh, is, the very spice nice. is very spice nice. Spice is very nice. Oh, hostess, you are the hostess with the most. Hell hostess. yeah. Mm. But we gotta move on. So for the next item, we got goldfish Dunkin pumpkin spice donut. Dunkin pumpkin. Dunkin pumpkin. Dunkin that pumpkin. Good. Are they pumpkin spice latte grams or just pumpkin spice. And these are kind of like, huh? They're pumpkin spice donut. They're not. They're pumpkin not coffee. Pumpkin spice grams. Hmm. Hmm. They're orange. Yeah, they're very orange. I don't like those at all. Hmm. They don't taste like much. Mm hmm. I mean, they definitely taste like the graham cracker. The powder. It has no flavor. Yeah, like I was expecting like a flavor of just like pumpkin yeah, spice. Yeah, like flavor blast goldfish. It's yeah. like kind of just salty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They like, don't mm. taste bad, but it doesn't taste like pumpkin. I don't like them. I don't feel like they went pumpkin spice with their whole ass. The saltiness is kind of off -putting. Yeah, um, this one for me is going to be falling behind. Yeah, it fell behind. I fell behind. Goldfish, fail. It's a fall year. For our next one, we have Ghirardelli. Pumpkin spice caramel filled milk chocolate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I love Ghirardelli chocolate. I do too. I like chocolate, but I don't think pumpkin spice goes with it. Cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, they all go with chocolate. Yeah. They nailed putting pumpkin spice flavor in that caramel. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that's good. Mm. Mm. That's really good. Mm. You can like smell it through the chocolate. It's mm -hmm. a nice change from the standard caramel chocolate caramel. Mm hmm. Is mm -hmm. the spice nicer? Spice is nice. Very nice. I'm, I'm okay with it. I didn't think that this was going to be very good. I'm but I definitely honest, think it's like, still like one of those one thing. I'm not time. gonna eat any more of it because it's super, super sweet. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat more than one. So Ghirardelli, pumpkin spice, caramel filled uh, chocolate. 
Spice is nice. Spice is nice. The spice nice. is nice. Very nice. So I was over at Walmart and I found pumpkin butter. Mm. Pumpkin butter. Pumpkin butter. So that's me in high school. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 punky butter. Punky butter. Is this like Ooh. apple butter? Ooh, but pumpkin? Yeah. I'm gonna like this. If I don't, I I'll be surprised. Jumping right. off the roof. So I figured, uh, well, you just got some regular toast here for it. Okay, Um, let's see how this is. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. It kind of tastes like the apricot preserves my dad makes. But pumpkin. I'm a big fan of like apple butters. Like you go over to Cracker Barrel and you get yeah. the apple butter for their biscuits. I would get this if they had it as an option for the fall. Mm -hmm. yeah, good. That's really good. Pizza. Wow, that's so good. It's really good. You're craving a piece of pumpkin pie? I don't even think like it really doesn't taste like pumpkin pie at mm. all. But it just tastes really good. Yeah, it's, it's got like, like a like, like a tang. The tang like what you would get with like orange. a jam or something. Yeah, that's why it tastes like preserves. Yeah. It's got all the basic ingredients. It's got pumpkin pie puree in it. It's delicious. Y'all find yourself around Walmart, get that pumpkin butter. This stuff, was, good. this stuff was a dollar twelve. That's it? Yeah. That's wow. That is real good. The spice is nice. The spice, spice is nice. It's real nice. Is real nice. That is very good. Let's move on. Funny enough, actually, right next to the uh, pumpkin butter, they had the pumpkin spice flavored pancake syrup. Ooh. Oh, that's so yummy. Take, I'm worried about it being too sweet. I got some basic um, Eggo waffles yeah, I'm here. I'm having a bit of a sweet overdose. Yeah. Walmart's really filling the fall. Don't Whoa. go chasing autumn fall. Uh-oh. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Oh, I'm lightheaded now. <laughs> Did you warm it up? What? The syrup? syrup? No. Oh, it's, it's just like It's just very runny. Yeah, it yeah. is so thin. Well, I was like, was I supposed, do you have to warm up syrup? I know, I was going to be like, Am I, have I been doing syrup wrong the whole time? <laughs> well, I know some people warm their syrup up and that's what makes it so runny. Mmm. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. good. Is it? Mmm. Yeah, how? Ooh. It's not too sweet. I thought it was going to be too sweet. It's that, not too sweet. Exactly, I was afraid. Oh, that is real good. It's like they're doing like... My goodness. Another. Like they're doing pumpkin spice right these days. Yeah. It's not just it's like, not hey, we're going to throw pumpkin spice on everything. Yeah, it's yeah. not like hitting you in the face with the pumpkin spice. It's complimenting the syrup. Yeah. Um, it's so that's that's really good. good. I don't know if I like that or the butter, but they're both pretty. I think I like this better than the butter. This is pretty damn good. Um, Because it's it's not too much. No. Yeah, like it's, like even the maple part of it, yeah. it's not so overbearing. Like yeah. everything mixes really well and then it's not super sweet. You still get the butteriness of the syrup, but it's not masked by everything else. Yeah. So, I, I, I was sitting here talking about I hate pumpkin spice, but you like I'm like, right yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, want another, you want another bite of waffle? No, nah, I'm good. Spice is nice? Spice, spice is, is nice. nice. Mm. Spice is real freaking nice. I'm like adding this stuff to my grocery cart for tomorrow. Right. I'm like, I gotta go grocery shopping tomorrow and I'm getting that. So, um, found this one at HEB today. It is pumpkin spice popcorn seasoning from Colonel Seasonings. I just thought that was just so weird. I'm just like, that, that's I excessive. Wouldn't, I wouldn't think to put it in the home. No. Oh, it, smell it. Smell how intense that is. Ooh. I got some regular Orville uh, Redenbacher microwave popcorn to put on there. It has a very strong smell. Yeah. Uh, it smells like Hobby Lobby. What do you think? Like, I feel like it's that's in good. my nose right now. That's good. Yeah, it, is, it definitely smells like Hobby Lobby. It's pretty mild flavor, to be honest. No. Yep. Need more? You get a real seasoned one. No, I mean, it's not that you can't taste it. It's just very mild. Yeah. It tastes pretty good, man. It's not bad. Yeah. I would never do that myself to my own popcorn mm -hmm. serving. I, it is a very subtle flavor. I was, once again, expecting such a huge flavor blast. Like. I feel like that pumpkin really goes well with the like, buttery flavor. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to like... That's also probably something I wouldn't have bought on my own. Yeah. But like, it is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. You don't? You don't like it? Even with like a lot of it on there, it's not that much of It's not a flavor I want on popcorn. Yeah, I mean, I... And I like caramel corn. It doesn't taste bad. I'm not that into it, but it doesn't taste bad. Yeah, it tastes... Maybe like, if it was pumpkin caramel. It's more mild than I was expecting, mm. so I was like pleasantly surprised. Or maybe do it on the like poppable kettle corn. But for regular butter popcorn, I don't like it. I'm saying this fall behind. I don't know, even with all the extra seasoning you put in there, it's still just kind of bland. I, it needed to be more intense, I think. Yeah, it's, it, it, I was... It was a pleasant surprise that it was mild, but then the more I thought about it, it was like, I don't want it to... to be overpowering. I don't want it to be overpowering, but also, like, I don't know that I want it to be that mild. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's ruining my so butter popcorn. It's ruining my butter popcorn without, like, taking over enough. Yeah. It needs to, like, be more of a, I don't know. All or nothing. Yeah. yeah. I feel like, you know, when you use, like, the ranch ones, your popcorn will taste like ranch, you yeah. know? This is just making ranch. it sweet and kind of bleh. 
So, uh, pumpkin spice for me, I'm saying fall behind. What about y'all? Fall behind. Fall behind. Alright. I would say the spice is nice, but at the same time. But it fell behind. I would, it would be the spice is nice and something else. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Let's try to move on. We'll have something that's mighty fine. Mighty fine? It's mighty fine. Sure enough, that's what it says. I was like, what? Instant mighty pudding. Fine. My tea fine. My it's pump tea fine. It's My pumpkin spice tea. instant pudding. Mm. So I made this up. It was just add milk. Oh. Look at that. That's yeah. pretty cute. Yeah. Um, it looks like diarrhea. <laughs> it does. It does look like baby shit. Okay. <laughs> when we were looking at the ingredients on here, there's not near it pumpkin spice in this. Really? Yeah. What so it's it all pumpkin? artificial shit that's really? making it taste like pumpkin spice. Interesting. It might not be very good though. Hmm. Uh oh. I don't know if that's a yes or a no. Yeah, I'm not really sure what she's up to. I don't like that at freaking all. Oh my god, that's awful. Yeah, it looks chunky. I very much don't like the texture of it. Yeah. It tastes like tapioca pudding. It does. Yeah, it doesn't taste bad, but it the texture it is feels weird. awful. Mm. I don't think it tastes anything like pumpkin spice. I think it's like kind of a caramel. It's just generic yeah. sweet. It's just sweet and condensed milk. Um, which would make sense since they don't, they did not put any pumpkin spice in the ingredients Yeah, no all. cinnamon, no nutmeg, none of that is on the ingredient list there on that. So, um... Bro, that, that fell way behind. That's that behind. Did, did. Yeah, that's a... Uh, it feels so bad. That's, yeah. that's, that's probably the best. Could we dip the goldfish in it? <laughs> no. So, pumpkin spice pudding, you fall behind. You fell, like, way back there, bro. Like, like first step of making a pumpkin spice flavored item, put... Put pumpkin spice in it. Let's move on. Y'all ever milked a pumpkin before? We got pumpkin milk. You should see the udders on the pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the tates on that pumpkin. But the milk tastes like the cow rolled around in a pumpkin patch. It looks thick, thick. Okay, well, let's it. Doesn't give it a... smell like literally anything. That it has is a... thick. Family it's kind of strong, I feel like. It's uh, That's eggnog. Yeah, it mm. does taste like eggnog. You can put some wild turkey. Well, eggnog, they put like nutmeg and all that stuff yeah. in there, right? It's yeah. very close to eggnog, but you know, honestly, that's what I wanted the pudding to taste like. I would probably drink that entire thing. You I know, like it. I'm imagining what it is. It's not bad. I bet you if you would use use that instead of regular milk for that pudding, I bet you it would have been on point. Yeah, yeah. that would have tasted way better. Um, so this works good as like drinking it as a really big pumpkin spice. It is an ingredient, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think you have a lot of use for it. I mean, what if you even it's use like what, the pumpkin rounder. spice cereals, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like the, the the Cheerios we tried last year or the Special K or something? Ooh, those yeah, Cheerios. Cheerios. Yeah. yeah. So Volumen's uh, milk surprisingly works. Yeah. Uh, the spice is nice. The spice, spice is nice. nice. Real nice. I, I'm I'm just so pleasantly surprised by how much I'm liking some of this stuff. Nice you're learning. You're also a basic there. bitch. Yeah, I guess so. On a side note, this reminds me of the time that Mariah said she doesn't like fish, and I named off every single fish, and she likes it. Yeah, that's true. And I was like, halibut, like it. I just don't want to be one of those kind of people, you know what I mean? That like fish. Mm -hmm. I like that you can see the like, <laughs> see the pumpkin spice in this though. Like, uh -huh. You can see the yeah, you can see this. Like, the the well, look, look at the bottom, bottom too. Yeah. Mm. Look at the bottom of the thing. Oh yeah, you yeah. Spice so it's like there. legit. This was good. So Seasoning. I, was that. Okay. I, do, I definitely want to make some coffee with Somebody it. Somebody needs yeah. to tell Walter to later. talk to Mighty Fine. These days, pumpkin spice uh, season is not just for the humans. It's for the puppers too. The puppers. Pumpkins. We got pumpkin spice flavored milk bones. All right. Listen, I've eaten more than one dog treat in my life. Oh yeah. It smells so gritty. And bad. Gritty. <laughs> it smells gritty. <laughs> you want to try a milk? I've never eaten. A, I've never eaten a dog treat in my life. No, I have. Oh, oh my god! Right. It smells so savory. But it smells like beef broth. <laughs> <laughs> but it's pumpkin spice. I don't want to eat this. You got to. You're already on the camera. I'm gonna have diarrhea. Oh. It's so bland and tastes nothing like pumpkin spice. <laughs> there is zero spice in this. It tastes like ramen, like dry ramen noodles before you put the seasoning on it. Like I know like dog treats are like food supposed to be bland for dogs and shit, but like Man, they lie. Don't give this to your dog. This tastes like nothing. Uh, oh. It doesn't taste or smell like pumpkin, so where does it get off calling itself that? Yeah. They oh. just put it on the package. Hands down the worst dog treat I've ever eaten. <laughs> I would not recommend to another friend. Hands down the only dog treat I've ever eaten. <laughs> Listen, I've had good dog treats. I have too. I have never. I'm trying to look on the ingredients here to see if they even tried. Uh, clearly they didn't. Well, oh no, the third ingredient is beef fat. But <laughs> it's supposed to be pumpkin. Mm. Uh, 
<clears throat> they lie to our puppers. Oh, the very last ingredient, artificial pumpkin flavor. Artificial. Why pumpkin artificial? Flavor. And good no, it pumpkin. isn't. It's good for dogs. Yeah. Man, I'm mad. Keeps them fibrous. Put regular ass pumpkin in it. <laughs> they have feeding instructions. <laughs> yeah, don't Wait, do it. Feed. Instruction number one, get a dog. Yeah. <laughs> Instruction number two, don't feed them this. Throw this away. Yeah, milk bone. I don't know who you, you, you trying to feed this to our puppers. They ain't tasting puppy fries. I need you to give me the pumpkin milk back now. Yeah. Yeah. So I found these ones at Aldi's. We got pumpkin spice fruit leathers. Fruit I'm, leathers. I'm here for this. Yeah, I'm gonna like this. Fruit I strips. Mmm. Good slap with that. It definitely is very pumpkin smelling. It's, it smells like that pumpkin butter. It does. It's yeah, very good. I don't like it personally. It has apple in it, doesn't it? First thing. It does taste like apple. Apple puree. Mm -hmm. It tastes way more like apple than pumpkin. I don't it's too, taste it's pumpkin. too tangy. But listen, it's got apple puree concentrate, apple juice concentrate, and then pumpkin puree spices vanilla. So it's an apple fruit leather. Yeah. Hmm. With so, like a little, with some pumpkin in it. Knowing now that it's not going to be super pumpkin spice flavor, because um, it's too, it's too sour. Yeah, it it's a, real sour. I know. have an apple cider one that's probably the same ingredient. I do think it tastes good. Uh -huh. But but not. it's not like acing the assignment here, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not pumpkin spice. It's more apple than anything else. Yeah. I think it's I think it's fair to say that this uh, falls behind. No. Yeah, it fell behind. Cause it's it, it's good, but it's not doing what it needs. Well, let's move on. Let's get it started. Ah! Let's get it started with some mochi. 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 We got these at Target. They're pumpkin spice. And is it nice? I'll think twice. You look going. like little pumpkins. But not thrice. <laughs> Or fries. Fries. <laughs> Fives. Can I get fr I got fives on it. I got five on it. Okay. What is mochi? It's, it's like a, a yeah, it's like a rice dough sauce. wrapped around ice cream. Mmm. Hmm. I love mochi. Absolute mm. I'm a hochi, let me tell you. <laughs> or some mochi. Mm hmm That's pretty good. And maybe I'm just being influenced by the color, but at first I was like, does it taste like orange a little? <laughs> <laughs> it does taste like pumpkin. It's not an overwhelming flavor. It's pretty mild, to be honest. Yeah, that I like that. It's not super overly sweet. Yeah. Mm. So mochi ice cream, can you pumpkin spice it? Yeah. 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 Wait, that wasn't the question. Is the, the spice, spice nice. is nice? No. Spice is nice. Spice is mighty nice. And it's gluten free. How about that? Mm. Hot damn. Let's move on. We keep moving stranger and stranger into strange territory here. Further and further into strange. I found at um. World Market, it is pumpkin spice tonic. Tonic? Tonic. Ooh. I don't tonic know about bitter. that. I thought it was going to be like a pumpkin spice root beer. And then yeah. isn't tonic just another word for soda? No. Mm -hmm. It's pretty sweet smelling. It smells like cream soda. I don't think I've ever had a pumpkin spice soda before. It's not super strong tasting, to be honest, I feel like. Really? No. It's not that bad. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. It tastes like cream soda. I like it, though, because it's on the I can after. taste the pumpkin spice. It's on the aftertaste. So yeah, it does have pumpkin, but it tastes, it's like, and it's a base of cream soda. But it, it stays refreshing though, you know? It doesn't like overdo it. I don't want this to be overdone because I do want it to still be refreshing. The spice is nice. I think the yeah, spice, spice is, nice. is pretty nice. This is a good substitute to a cream soda or a root beer or something. Yeah. yeah. So over at a uh, World Market, get you some pumpkin spice tonic. Yeah, it, the spice is nice. The spice, the spice is, is nice. nice. I am shocked at how much stuff is actually tasting good. Oh. We've had an awful lot of sweet items today, but what if pumpkin spice starts moving into our main meal of the day? Over at uh, Aldi's, I found pumpkin pesto sauce. It smells so bad. Dreadful. But a few years ago, Aldi's did this really good butternut squash pumpkin pasta sauce that was See, really good. See, I bet good. that would be good because butternut no. is a sweet. No. It smells so bad. Does it taste bad, Matt? I don't think it does. I don't want to eat this at all. I had to eat a dog treat. You have to eat the vomit covered shells. <laughs> I've never seen somebody not want to eat something more than you just know in that moment. No? It doesn't taste as bad as I thought it would. Oh, I think it smells delightful. It does not taste good. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, oh, yeah. I don't like that. It's not bad. I like that. There is nothing pumpkin about it. I already hate pesto. Like, I hate pesto. Mm hmm. This is awful. The smell is, like, even if it didn't taste bad to me, the smell is enough. It yeah. smells f***ing horrendous. It does fall short of a pumpkin spice item. Yeah. So, pumpkin spice as a pesto sauce. 
No. No. This, it, it falls by. <laughs> On to our final item. Phenyl. And this is also perhaps the strangest thing I've been able to find on the internet. Well, you have not been. You have not explored. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't been around. Minus yeah. the dark web. Was your first day on the internet <laughs> or what? So this was from Chosen Foods. It is pumpkin spice vegan caviar. Are we gonna Let's like go. eat this the way like you, you know you put it on your? Whoa! You take a bump. Yeah. Here, I'm just gonna take a. <laughs> It smells good. The face that you made when you opened it and smelled it did not say it smells good. <laughs> that face, it surely said this smells disgusting. It does look like I have some kind of disease on my hand. Oh, that is... It's strong, dude. It, sm it smells like Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Very punky spicy. It Will there. it Hobby Lobby? <laughs> Will it Hobby Lobby? <laughs> today on Eat Things, today we learned what does Hobby Lobby taste like. One, two, three, go. Mm. Oh, 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 strong with cinnamon. Oh man. No, it's so oily. What do you use that with? That was like, like a bath bomb. What the like fuck a bath bead it? trying to kill oh, me. God. I wasn't expect that had a chemical to it. It was yes, too much. It was very bitter. Ah. Now let's talk about this. No. <laughs> it was, it's made with avocado oil. Yeah. Um, so it's not actual fish yeah, eggs. Yeah, it kind of burns my tongue it a little. Burned. It's the oil. It's so like oily. My hands are greasy. Like I guess that's how caviar would be, right, Shane? I yeah. mean, the caviar I've had is definitely not greasy. It's very salty, very bright. Well, cause, I guess because it's made from oil. Do you want? You gonna take a bite of that? Oh, I already have. Do you like it? No. I know. <laughs> like my the corners of my mouth it tastes, burn. It yeah. tastes like potpourri. I'm glad I took such a Yes, little... potpourri. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Like, it's this... like this is like Pier One, like Kirkland's. <laughs> this does. <laughs> it tastes like Kirkland. <laughs> oh, yeah, Kirkland. Yes. oh my like god. Kirkland just <laughs> my mouth right there. <laughs> Eiffel Tower by Kirkland's and Hobby Lobby. I swear dude. <laughs> to God, bro. You better watch oh out though, because they're not going to give you birth control benefits. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Back door only for Hobby Lobby. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to know why this was created. Why do you need what vegan was like you? know what I need? <laughs> I need something that tastes like potpourri. You call Brian I mean, an ass. To oh. put on something. It's, it's like the oil that they put scent sticks in. Yes. But you yes. can that cinnamon is f***ing stout. It's so strong smelling. And it hits you in the back of the throat. And it's got, but it's got like a little, hey, <laughs> it's got a little, a little sweetness to it too. So can vegan caviar, is it, does it fall behind? No, I think vegan is like caviar to the fish. So what we've learned is that pumpkin spice can go real right and seldomly it goes wrong. But when it goes wrong, it goes wrong hard. It goes wrong <laughs> so hard. Real hard. So favorite items of the night I think was our pumpkin spice flavored pancake syrup. Yeah. Some yeah, great value. That tasted real good. And nice. the Twinkie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what y'all think? What's the favorite one though? For me, I'm saying syrup. <laughs> yeah. The syrup was so good. This is pretty amazing at great value. Walmart. Y'all know this is delicious, y'all. They did it right. It's fall, y'all! It's fall, y'all! Thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight on Eating Things. And until next time, remember to... Eat some things! But not vegan caviar. No, 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 no